everybody, welcome back to Wizarding Alice. My name is Alice. On this channel, I cover all things Harry Potter, Wizarding World, and a little bit of Scotland travel, lifestyle, that kind of thing thrown in as well. So if that sounds like something that interests you, be sure to subscribe below. You may notice I'm in quite an interesting location today, and that is because I am at Disneyland Paris. Ah, I'm so excited. It's been such a long time since I've been here. I am so excited to be back. I'm here on my own this time. I'm just going to have my own little adventure. And I'm really, really excited to bring you guys along for the ride because I love watching Disney trip vlogs and things like that. So I'm really excited to make my own. I was intending to have the intro be at home and document the whole travel part, but oh my gosh, it has been a day and a half to say the least. Okay, so I'm gonna do a very quick story time. Um, this is gonna look really weird <laughs> for people outside. I'm gonna do a very quick story time of my travels thus far and splice in little clips. So I stayed at my grandparents the last wee while. They live just outside London. I didn't film any of that, that was just personal time. And then I got the train from there into the centre of London, no problem. Got the tube across London to St Pancras, no problem at all got on the Eurostar, all was going well, Eurostar was on time, we were five minutes away from Gare du Nord, which is the main station in Paris that the Eurostar goes to, and the train breaks down, <laughs> like completely breaks down. So we were stuck for almost two hours just sitting outside the train station, it was so annoying. Um, and then eventually, they didn't even fix it, they just got it to the point that you could like get, they could like basically push it into the station. So of course I was feeling a little bit stressed because I was obviously two hours behind my schedule at this point. And then I get uh, the tube across and then the train here, which wasn't a problem at all, but turns out I bought the wrong ticket. So I got fined. It was only 20 pounds. I suppose it's not like the worst thing at the end of the day, but it was like the last thing I needed when I was already thinking like, oh, I'm late, you know, all that kind of stuff. But I'm here now. I couldn't be happier. I love my room. So I'm going to give you guys a little room tour. Okay. So this is where you come in. I should have mentioned, I haven't even said where I am. I'm at the Hotel Cheyenne in a woody roundup room and I love it. I love Western style stuff. So we've got a cupboard here. Um, a safe, I have no idea what that is, a little table, and I'm assuming that has some information on it. Round here is the bathroom, which is super cool. Got the sink here, um, and the shower, and a bath. After the day I've had, I might need to have a bath. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, pretty standard bathroom, does what it needs to do. Um, then we've obviously got an adjoining door that I won't be using um, and this is the actual room. I am absolutely obsessed with it. I love it. It's such a nice temperature in here. So we've obviously got the TV and the drawers and look at that lamp. That's so funny. Um, nice drawers, a, t a seat, a sofa. Oh, I can't speak. And then look at my view. I'm obsessed with it. It's on the ground floor so it's like a bit public but I love it. Like if I look out, it literally looks like I'm in a Western street. Ah, oh, love it so much. And then this is my bed, perfect. And then it's got this kind of skirting around it. And then I'm assuming another bed, but more like a sofa for me that I've just kind of dumped all my stuff when I literally got into the room like two minutes ago. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm loving it. This is gonna be a very nice room for me for the next two nights, cause I'm here three days, including today. So yeah, um, what I'm gonna do now is freshen myself up a bit. I seriously need to just like go to the toilet, brush my hair. I need to sort of redo my bags because they're a bit all over the place. I'm gonna do that. And then I can't decide, I might go to Disney Village and have some lunch and then go into the park. I might go into the park and then leave a bit early and do Disney Village. I'm not sure yet, but we'll do something. So I'll check in with you soon. How beautiful is this resort, seriously? I've stayed Sequoia Lodge once before um, and that was really nice too but I was quite young so I don't have like a huge memory of it but this is amazing. It helps that I like absolutely love this kind of style but I think this is Hotel Santa Fe we could see here. I'd really like to pop into Hotel New York at some point and see the Marvel stuff but I'm not sure I'll have time. I've got quite a tight agenda, but wow, this is lovely. So I think this is a way that I go if I want to walk to 
the Disney parks, which I think I am going to do after the day I've had sitting. Um, but I just want to kind of look at the resort a little bit first and have a look around and see what's what. But I am loving it so far. Wow. currently doing the 15 minute walk from the hotel to the Disney parks and I have to say it is lovely. It's cold today. They said it was about one degree. I think it's warmer than that but as you can see it's not a cloud in the sky. The sun is shining. It's honestly it's lovely and there's literally no one here. Everyone must be in the parks. It is a Monday and I made sure to come when there weren't any school holidays so I'm hoping it's quiet but today is the second day of Disneyland Paris's 30th anniversary so it's anyone's game really but anyway the pathway is lovely and quiet so definitely recommend doing this walk if it's nice weather. I decided to get McDonald's first. Is that a good idea when um, you're about to go on rides? Probably not, but I got chips, a Big Mac, and chicken nuggets because I am starving and I haven't eaten all day. But they've got this Chinese sauce, which you can't get in the UK, so I'm gonna give it a go. Okay, turns out I'm not his biggest fan. <laughs> but I am excited to be all this and I've got a lovely view of the Rainforest Cafe. Sorry if the quality isn't that great and you can't hear me all that well. I have switched to handheld because the tripod was causing too much attention but we are here. We are at Disneyland Park. We are at the Disneyland Hotel. It is so beautiful. I'm gonna stop and take some pictures here I think for sure. Whoever designed that logo deserves a pay raise, for real. That is so good, because <laughs> it's the 30th anniversary and it's also Mickey Mouse's ears, if you hadn't figured that out already. But anyway, I'm through the ticket barrier and I'm now entering the park. I'm gonna try not to cry. I don't know if you can hear me. I'm gonna try not to cry, but I'm very, very excited. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I had a plan. But now that I'm here, I don't know, I kind of just want to do whatever takes my fancy. But yeah, I think first things first, let's go have a better look at the castle. Turns out there's a parade about to start. You can probably see all those people over there, so you can't get into the castle right now. So I'm going to head into Frontierland and probably head around and do Pirates of the Caribbean if the queue isn't too long, because that is my favorite. Um, this is what we can see of the castle so far.
I think in any Disney park, no, Sora and Epcot's my favorite, but I um, love Pirates of the Caribbean so much. I've done it twice, I'm definitely gonna do it more times. <laughs> um, but now, I don't really, I don't really like have a plan today. I'm just gonna kind of see what happens. I've just phoned home and had a little chat and an update and things like that, which was really nice. Just took a bit of time to sit and be away from the noise. Um, so now I think what I'm gonna do is head back to Frontierland and go on Haunted Mansion because that's like my second favorite one that we have here um, and then after that I'll see how I feel maybe do one or two more I'm not really I'm just sort of flitting about and um, tomorrow I'm gonna basically make sure I do like every single thing here pretty much and um, so today I'm just doing certain things and if I end up repeating them tomorrow it doesn't really matter and um, so yeah gonna go and do Haunted Mansion have a little nap on there because it's nice and dark <laughs> Depending on the queue, of course, I don't know. Um, and then we'll see, I'll maybe do like one more ride and then just go back. Seems a bit lame, it's like half five at the moment. Seems a bit lame to like go back to the hotel so early when you're at Disney, but I did wake up at three o'clock this morning. Um, so yeah, um, let's go on Haunted Mansion and then see how we feel. Disneyland Paris, of course, doesn't actually have Haunted Mansion. It has Phantom Manor, which has a different storyline and setting. I definitely recommend looking it up if it interests you. That was the roller coaster going past. Or if it really interests you, I'd be happy to do a whole video on it. It's kind of, weirdly enough, what got me into Disney parks and history and lore was Phantom Manor. Um, it is basically the same ride. It's just a different story, like I said. Um, I have been to this one and the one um, in Florida and I think this one is way better. Perhaps you sense a disquieting metamorphosis. Ah, the 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 Pro tip, if you can hear me, if you ever want a nap at Disney, go on Haunted Mansion. It's so relaxing and the seat is so comfy. <laughs> Haunted 
Mansion was so much fun. My old friend Pepper's ghost <laughs> came into effect in the ballroom. Me and my mum have this sort of inside joke because anytime you watch any Disney fact video or whatever, they always bring up Pepper's ghost. So anytime we see... Anytime we see... <laughs> Anytime we see any evidence of it, we always laugh. So I'll need to send that video to my mum. But Haunted Mansion is such a good ride. One of my favorites. I'm guessing it's about six o'clock now. Um, so I'm not 100% sure what I wanna do. I think I'm gonna look properly along the shops on Main Street, maybe get myself a couple of treats to have in the room later on. Um, and then see how I feel at the end of that, whether I want to do another ride or not. We'll see. Note to sell. Do not go and look in the shops when a parade's just let out. <laughs> it was really, really busy, so I'll maybe come back later on. But I'm going to see if I can give Space Ranger Spin a go. Um, I did it once in Florida. I've never done it here, so hopefully it's open. I haven't checked the map yet. Um, but yeah, I am very excited. Let's see what score I get. It's a 30 minute wait, which is actually my longest wait of the day, but like, what else am I doing, you know? fireworks from your balcony how cool would that be okay i have left the disney parks now in disney village it has been one degree all day and i am definitely ready to be warmed up and did i mention i've been awake since three o'clock this morning <laughs> don't know if i mentioned that and um, so i'm heading back but on the way i pass hotel new york which is brand new themed around marvel so I'm gonna go in and have a little look. I don't imagine I'm gonna be in there longer than like five minutes, but I figured really wanted to stay here. It was far too expensive, <laughs> but at least I can have a little look around. that was amazing what you saw was pretty much all i could go into without being like someone who was staying there there was like a restaurant and a bar but you had to like queue to get in and obviously i wasn't going so i wasn't gonna queue but that lobby is amazing and it was so warm in there <laughs> and really fancy like it felt very deluxe and there was a tiny little gift shop and um, they just had obviously like a bunch of marvel stuff and marvel comics and things really cool but the thing that really hit me was the smell i can't put my finger on what it was but it smelled amazing i mean disney hotels are known for like pumping in perfume smells but that one was really nice. I'm gonna have to Google and see what it is because I need that. I forgot to mention there's a swimming pool in there as well. Can't believe it. <laughs> An indoor one I'm assuming which would be lovely but I think anything warm sounds nice to me at the moment. But yeah as you can see I'm just walking back the same way I came. Could have got the bus. Um, obviously it would have been warmer. Um, but I wanted to go to the New York hotel and I thought you know what? May as well just walk. 
someone's whistling. Okay, it's not at me. I thought someone was trying to get my attention. I was like, am I about to walk into the lake or something? Um, but yeah, so what I'm gonna do is go back to the hotel, obviously. I'm gonna stop in at the Starbucks that's at the hotel, which was an added bonus I didn't know was there, and just pick myself up a drink, maybe a snack, because I couldn't really find anything um, on Main Street. Have a shower, just sort of unpack, because I kind of just threw my stuff and then came out here. Um, so just kind of get my stuff settled, make my room all nice, and then I will pick back up with you once I've done that. Okay, I am in bed. What a day. <laughs> As you can see, I've had a shower. I had like the longest shower known to man just because it was so warm. Because did I mention it was cold? And did I mention that I woke up at three o'clock today? <laughs> but no, I am pretty tired, but the room looks so cozy. Um, I'll show you in a second. So now what I'm going to do is test out the TV and see what channels we've got. I mean, how cozy is this? When I turn the lights off, it's going to be even cozier. But um, yeah, I've literally got all my stuff for tomorrow ready to go. I've got my clothes out. I've repacked my bag. I've cleaned like my phone and stuff like that. Since I was technically in two cities today, I thought, you know what? Better give everything a bit of a clean. Bought myself a massive bottle of water from the Starbucks because I haven't drunk anything literally all day. And obviously I had that big McDonald's. So very thirsty um but yeah so now i'm going to figure out this tv business i am loving this home screen i love the music but let's see okay do i access the menu okay oh disney fairy tales oh it's audiobooks i think that's cute so there's television and radio so live tv and stuff you move Disneyland Paris TV. Oh my gosh. Languages? English. Oh my, I mean, I'm gonna get completely copyrighted for this. This is 100% gonna be what ends up being um, on TV as I go to sleep. <laughs> um, okay, so that's obviously like just Disney promo, basically. My hotel. Okay, that's just like information. Sorry, I'm not filming this very well. My account and weather. Okay, that's cool. So TV guide. I mean, it's all gonna be in French and I don't speak a lick of French. Oh, of course it's Disney, Disney channels. <laughs> Disney TV. I mean, it's in English, but maybe they've just set it to English for me. One thing I saw is cinema. How do I? Oh, it's just color coded. Okay. Nice. Okay, so then, then we've got like the French channels. Um, Disney Channel. I wish I was up to date with what was on Disney Channel, but I haven't watched it in a long time. Will it be in French or English? Hold on, let's turn it up. It's in English. Okay, they've obviously set it for me. Um, and then finally, sorry, I know this is like really boring, but I'm interested. What's this? Safety smart. Okay. Huh. Seems unnecessary, but okay. Cool. All right, well, I think I'm just gonna call it a day there. Let me turn the TV down. What a day it has been. The morning, let's say, was not great. <laughs> I was, I kind of downplayed how frazzled I kind of was by it. And I think you can kind of tell in the afternoon that I was kind of a bit all over the place, like, oh, I'm gonna go to the castle. And actually I went over here, like I just was like, kind of like, ah, I don't know, I'm overwhelmed. I don't know what to do, but in the best way in the afternoon, because I'm just so excited to be here. I had such a good time this afternoon, even though, like I said, I didn't really have a plan. I was just kind of like, oh, okay, we'll do this. We'll do this. And I just, I loved it so much. And the fact that I'm sitting here warm in a beautiful, Disney hotel room and I've got a full day tomorrow. I couldn't be happier. I really couldn't. I'm so excited. So I appreciate I didn't do a very good intro um, 
to the start of this video again because I was kind of all over the place. I leant back, my phone was too heavy. <laughs> um, I didn't do a very good intro because I was kind of all over the place, but this is going to be a three-part series. I think that's the plan at the moment. So this Sunday is this video, and the next Sunday will be my day tomorrow, and then the Sunday after that will be my final day. And the plan as it stands is tomorrow is going to be a full Disneyland day. I'm going to try and do everything, um, give or take. I'm not I don't think I could do Space Mountain. <laughs> I think it's too scary for me. And then the next day is my day back, but I've got the whole morning and a bit of the afternoon and I'm gonna do uh, Disney Studios. But again, we'll see how things go. I'm just gonna keep it loose, play it by year. Um, so yeah, so this video might be a little bit shorter than the other two is um, just because I didn't get to film as much of the morning as I wanted to. And I was just kind of finding my feet with this whole vlogging thing. I've done vlogs before, but Disney is a whole other kettle of fish and it's busy and it's overwhelming because there's so much to show. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it. I really felt like I was finding my feet as the day went on and I feel a lot more confident doing it now. So I'm really looking forward to filming tomorrow. I think that's gonna be a really good vlog. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next Sunday. Bye.